Just got back from a business transaction. I did find a guy on Craigslist who was looking to sell the Pokemon bulk. I messaged him, emails a couple back and forth. It took a couple of weeks to get it down, but essentially he was selling 16,000 in bulk. And when I mean bulk Pokemon, I'm just talking about commons, uncommons with no basic energy and in near mint to mint condition. I gave him our usual buying prices, which is a thousand, thousand cards is $25. And then he also sold me a bunch of, uh, you know, just bulk rares and hollows and then reverse hollows, which came out to like just over $450. Um, I had to drive to the South Bay to get it. So just got back from it. Really happy with the deal. The guy was very nice. I like dealing with those kind of transactions where the seller is really nice and it's just really simple. No haggling whatsoever. We can do all the negotiation online. And then when we just meet up, I just give him the money and then I get the card. So here's the lot. Three big boxes. Which I'm gonna have to sort. So I'm gonna have fun over the next couple of weeks sorting those bulk. Um, essentially, we're gonna go through it, see if there's any expensive commons or uncommons, go through all the rares, hollow, see if there's anything worth more than a nickel, uh, maybe complete like basic sets, uh, like non hollows, and then we can try to sell those for a little bit more profit. Uh, but otherwise, we'll just sell them as bulk on eBay. It's not really a lot of huge profit, but I consider it like our bread and butter because it's just really easy to move and we make decent profit margins because it's worth our time and if you can get them bigger then it's even better i hope you guys enjoyed the kind of like an insight of what we do with our business transactions especially if we're buying in bulk uh if you guys like the video um please subscribe like button until next time guys stay safe stay healthy and i'll see you guys all in the next video